Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using the Kendall's Tau correlation coefficient in SPSS. So Kendall's Tau is an alternative, a non-parametric alternative, to the Pearson product moment correlation coefficient, otherwise known as Pearson's R. Kendall's Tau can accept ordinal level data, and it provides an indication on how well variables are associated with one another similar to what Pearson's R does. So I have fictitious data in the data view of SPSS here. And let's just say that there is a special program and there are applicants to this program, some sort of training program. And they are rank ordered uh, through a series of evaluative tools applied by three raters, rater one, rater two, and rater three. So we start out, and we, you know, for one rater, we know we can rate 1 through 30, right? Because one rater is going to rank, well, they're all going to rank 1 through 30, but one will align. Uh, they may all three align, but in this case, one will align. And at that point, we applied the ID, so that's why the ID variable matches. So rater 1 has all the applicants rated 1 through 30. Rater 2 and rater 3 have all the applicants rated as 1 through 30. But as you can see, the orders do not always match. As a matter of fact, in most cases, they don't match. So for the first applicant, you have Rater 1. Of course, that's rank of 1. But Rater 4 felt this applicant was the fourth highest ranking applicant. And Rater 3 felt that this applicant was the second highest ranking applicant. So this, the magnitude of this difference, the 1 and the 2, isn't that great. Uh, clearly, the magnitude between a rank of 4 and 1 is greater. But if you look down a bit, uh, you can see that Rater 1 and 2 agreed on which applicant was the third highest ranking. But Rater 3 uh, had a, a tenth highest ranking for that applicant. And then even more extreme, as we move down, uh, Rater 1 for, for the fifth highest ranking applicant, Rater 2 would say that's the second highest ranking, and Rater 3, the 21st. So fairly large difference there in comparison to the differences we saw up here. So just by looking at these data, you can see there's, there's some disagreement, but how can we quantify this? So we're going to go to Analyze and Correlate and go to Bivariate. And I'm going to reset this. And you can see these are ordinal level data. Right, you can see it from the symbol there. And the let me go back to the variable view. You see these are all set as ordinal level data. So then moving back to this dialog, what we're going to do is the ID variable is not part of this analysis. So we're just going to leave that out. We're going to take rater one, hold down control, and then click Rater 2 and Rater 3, and move them over to the variables list box. And for options, we're not going to change anything. And for style, uh, we're not going to change anything. And then this is uh, an ordinal level data. This is rank data, so we can't use Pearson. Or instead, we're going to select Kendall's Tau. So you may be looking at this and thinking, well, what about uh, Spearman's correlation coefficient? Why do we select Kendall's tau as opposed to Spearman? And there are a few reasons. Uh, Kendall's tau works better, typically with small sample sizes. But probably more importantly, in, in, at least in many situations, is Kendall's tau is a more conservative measure. And I'll show you that difference in a moment. Let's take a look at Kendall's Tau first. So if we just look at the Kendall's Tau statistic, we can see that you have Rater 1 as compared to all three Raters, and then Rater 2 and Rater 3 compared to all three Raters. And looking at statistical significance, if we look at Rater 1, clearly to Rater 1, that's going to be a perfect match. Rater 1 to Rater 2, that's a statistically significant finding. And 
a fairly strong correlation there, 0.756, but between Raider 1 and Raider 3, still statistically significant at the 0 0.01 level, uh, but only 0.375. So a positive correlation, but not as strong as the relationship between Raider 1 and Raider 2. And then, of course, the third comparison would be Raider 2 to Raider 3. And here we have a non-significant uh, finding. There's, there's no statistical significance there. And we only have a correlation. It's a positive correlation of 0.251. So let's add to this analysis a Spearman. So I can just bring up the same dialog, bivariate correlations, and I'll just add Spearman and click OK. And now you can see them compared. And when we had this fairly strong relationship here between Raider 1 and Raider 2's ranks of the applicants, you see it's much stronger with Spearman's row. And we had a weaker correlation here between Raider 1 and Raider 3 in Kendall's Tau. Uh, but Spearman's has it as 0.527. So again, a, it shows a stronger correlation. And then again with the 251 between Raider 2 and Raider 3, Spearman's has it as 0.366. So this actually has it as significant at the 0 0.05 level, the relationship between the Raider 2 and Raider 3 ranks, whereas Kendall's Tau has it as a non-significant result. So both statistics are useful, but you have to choose one while keeping their strengths and limitations in mind. I hope you found this video on using the Kendall's Tau correlation coefficient to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.